Welcome to YBW.com's preview of the Southampton Boat Show. I'm here with David Glenn from Yachting World and Rob Peak from Motorboats and Yachting to bring you our show highlights. In the motor yacht world, what we all want nowadays is a full beam owner's cabin. Let's take a look at this one on the brand new 1.3 million inch bat Fairline 64. Yes, it stretches beam to beam, yes, it looks like a five star hotel room, but what sets this apart from other five star owners' cabins on the market? I reckon this, the shower. By day, light floods in through that huge port and the clear shower glass. By night, or if you want a shower, step inside here, press the button, and magically the glass frosts over. Now that's super yacht luxury. My pick of the new boats is the breathtaking new Dragonfly 35 Ultimate. She's got standing headroom, six berths, and a clever cockpit design. The £170,000 price tag is hefty, but how many other yachts can cruise at 22 knots? Have a look at this. Al Wood is the UK dealer. Al, you've sailed this boat. How fast does she really go? To date, 23 knots is our top speed. Uh, we've seen 20, 21 a lot, and 14s, 15s are pretty common. And what sort of market is the boat aimed at? Primarily sailing enthusiasts. Uh, some of our owners will race with the boats, but the vast majority just enjoy fast, short-handed cruising. Great. And um, what are some of the unique features about this boat? The most spectacular one is the folding system. Uh, we're 8 metres wide when we're sailing, but we fold up in... Uh, less than two minutes to reduce our beam by 50% so we fit in a standard marina berth. The Spirit 100 is the biggest sailing yacht at the show. She's a beautiful wooden boat. She's been built on the East Coast by Sean McMillan's Spirit Yachts. She's just come down from that part of the world and I'd like to get Sean to describe what that trip was like. Sean. Well, uh, we had fairly light airs, um, but we had some periods of a few hours when we were sailing in good breeze, and although she's 100 foot long, she's very light at only 44 tonnes, and in fact, she sails just like a big dinghy. You can just throw her around, chuck her about, absolutely wonderful, great fun. I've sailed smaller boats in the range, and I can tell you that if the performance of this boat is anything like that, she'll be a great boat. Down below on the Spirit 100, she's absolutely beautiful. The concept is very unusual. I'd like Sean to explain how it evolved. Um, it came from very, very clear, concise owner input. It was exactly what he wanted. He, he uh, had the image of the boat having this New England, Scandinavian, light, airy feel to it. And I think it's worked extremely well. Um, he also was very clear that he didn't want it full of cabins. He wanted a minimal amount of space. And so the whole thing has become so light and comfortable and lovely to live in. If the words Dutch and steel don't exactly set your world alight, come and look at the Van der Valk 19 meter. Could be time to think again. A lot of builders use the phrase fully customizable, but these guys really mean it. If you come and take a look at this 63 foot space, you'll see they really don't hold back. It costs about a million quid in ink vat, and for that you get an incredible list of standards. Double glazed windows as standard. Full marble top and the, the galley as standard. Even the lazarette has a radiator in it to keep your cushions dry when you're not on board. If you're coming down to the show, 
then don't miss out on the fantastic magazine subscription offers. You save money on each month's magazine and get one of these Gerber multi-tools too. Come to stand E2 to find out more. Field used to be a mark associated with traditional, sometimes even clinker built craft. Then they brought out this, the Field 40 Open. The Field 40 Open is about as minimalist and stylish as sports boating gets nowadays. It's no surprise to hear that the man who designed this also designed the incredible Wally range. Being a Norwegian craft, however, practicality still comes high on the agenda. Take a look at this. Nice cushion. Wouldn't look out of place on David Beckham's new sofa in LA. In fact, it's a fender. Does the job when you're out at sea. Slots neatly away, like that. The other good thing about this is down below. Volvo IPS 500. Loads of them, joystick berthing on a cutting edge sports boat. It's a good combination. We all know we should wear life jackets at sea, but they can be cumbersome and tricky to get on over clothing. Here in the Solent Hall, SeaSafe have come up with a neat solution a life jacket that's built in to a waterproof coat. Fall in the water and it inflates, or you just pull the toggle. After a busy day pounding the pontoons, where better to meet up than at the Guinness stand? It's moved yet again this year and it's now at the back of the Solent Park. We'll see you there. Cheers. Ha, ha, ha.